Here, I am going to talk about frequency distribution. Frequency distribution of a data set is a table or a chart showing how data is distributed. It contains a data column and a frequency column. So for example, let's look at the two types of data for students enrolled in a college statistics course. Let's look at this qualitative data. So here we are given two columns. One column is year in college and the other column has frequency. So here what this data tells us is there are 12 freshman students enrolled in a college statistics course. There are six sophomores enrolled in a college statistics course and there are two junior and five senior students enrolled in a college statistics course. So let's look at the example for quantitative data. One column has SAT scores that are given in class intervals and other uh, column has frequency. Now let's look to create frequency distributions of qualitative data. To create frequency distribution table for a qualitative data set, first we need to put the categories in one column and then count the number of data values in each categories, which we call them frequencies. Then we write the frequencies in the another column next to each category. So for example, we are given the data set for colors of car passing by an intersection. So these are red, blue, black, red. All these are the colors of cars passing by an intersection. So now we need to create a frequency distribution table out of this data. So next we create a frequency distribution table like this. So one column has color of car and then other, co other column has frequency. So the color of cars that passed by an intersection are red, blue, black, yellow, and white. Now we have to look into data and find out how many red cars were there. So let's look at the data. So there are three cars, three red cars. And let's find out how many blue color of cars passed by an intersection. So there are four blue color cars that passed by intersection. So let's find out how many black cars. So there are two black cars. And similarly, let's find out about how many yellow cars passed by an intersection. So it looks like there was only one yellow car. And finally, let's find out about white cars that passed by intersection. So there are three white cars that passed by an intersection. Finally, now we have a frequency distribution table for a qualitative data. Now let's look at the frequency distributions of quantitative data. So now we want to create a frequency distribution for quantitative data. So first we need to do is first find the minimum and maximum of the data set. We are looking at this data set. The minimum is 43. So which is this one? that is inside the square box and the maximum is 96 which is inside the square box. Now we need to make a table with two columns in it, one column with exam score and the other column with frequency. So now based on the minimum and maximum we need to decide the class intervals. All the classes should have the same width. The number of classes need to be between 5 and 20. So looking at this data, we can make class interval from 40 to 49 for what class interval? 50 to 59, 60 to 69, and 70 to 79, 80 to 89, and 90 to 99. So these are the class intervals. And let's look at the frequency. Now we have to go back and look in our data to find out the scores between 40 to 49. 
Okay, so looks like there is only one scores that is in between 40 to 49, which is striked like this. So now let's try to find the scores between 50 to 59. So there are three scores between 50 to 59, which those are 55, 54, and 57 that are striked like this. Let's try to find between 60 to 69. There are nine scores between 60 to 69 that are crossed like this. Now let's try to find out the scores between 70 to 79. So there are 11 scores between 70 to 79. So those are a strike in between. Now let's find scores between 80 to 89. There are four scores between 80 to 89. So those are in circle. Finally, let's find the scores between 90 to 99. So whatever is basically whatever is left at this point are the scores between 90 to 99. The number those are underlined are the scores between 90 to 99. So this is how you create a frequency distributions of quantitative data.